morning and thank you for staying with us. I-24 News Morning Edition on this January 28th, I believe. As you mentioned at the beginning of the show, there's still no war in the northern part of Israel, so everybody can relax. But there are two gorgeous men in my studio. And that's the way I want to. That's the way I want to end every single morning. One of them being Michael Friedman, but I'm going to go to the better-looking one. We are joined in studio <laughs> by, get this, Zula, CMA tech blogger and startup advisor Hillel Fold, who is here to talk about the Israeli startup success around the globe, and it was an amazing week, apparently. Unparalleled. There was, uh, that was so dramatic. I'm, I'm excited now. Okay, what, what happened, Hillel? It was uh, $910 million uh, in transactions last week in the tech scene, one week in Israel. Remember, we're talking about $910 million. We're Why talking are we ever seeing this money, Michael? I'm not getting a piece uh, of this. No, we're not getting a piece of this. Tell us more. Yes. We're, we're, we're talking about a country, need I remind you, the size of New Jersey. Exactly. Um, and, you know, we're talking about the biggest companies out there, um, you know, taking part in, this, in, this, in all these transactions. We're talking about Amazon, we're talking about Dropbox, um, we're talking about Alibaba, the retail giant. Uh, they made an investment in Israel, and it's unbelievable, again, to see the level of innovation in this tiny little country. In this tiny little country. And we have, I, I believe that we have a, a, a short clip that tells us the story. Let's, let's take a look and break it down from there. So, you're reading an article about, say, online shopping tips. You come across something or someone that seems awfully important to the story. You could open a new tab, start a search, click back and forth through those results, and hope for something useful. Or, you can just long click, and there you are. Meet Curio. Long click on any word in your browser you're curious about, like this. And up pops this handy info box. It serves up the latest and greatest explanations and conversations from the world's top publishers, social networks, and bloggers. Hop between different sources, just like this. When you're done, just click away and go back to reading. To help highlight some of the most interesting topics, Curio gently underlines a few words on each page you read. No extra tabs, no lookups, no sketchy content, no wasted time, and no distraction. We know you'll enjoy Curio. Click, pop, discover. So Hila Full is still with us for, you know, the amazing tech um, uh, advances startup, Israeli nation, startup nation, um, that is being gained by Israeli startup Curio. Who are they? What do they do? Why were they so successful this week? And why aren't we working there? So Curio is an interesting company. They're Jerusalem-based, and the founder is Bob Rosenshine, who previously founded Answers.com, which is... I even know answers.com. Even yeah. today, uh, yeah. all these years later, uh, it's still in the top 20 um, sites in the U.S., which is yeah. unbelievable. And um, so his new baby, his new startup is Curio, and it's a really very basic concept. We're all surfing the web, you know, daily, hourly, minutely, and when you want to um, discover or understand the context of a certain word, what you'll do is you open a new tab and you'll search Google, which means that the publisher lost your attention. Exactly. So here with Curio, you can long press on a word, and it opens up a beautiful overlay, and it tells you a real-time Twitter search for that word. It gives you the website of that word. If it's a phrase that has a website, it tells you a Wikipedia search of that word. Everything you need to know about that word. Wow. You know, spot. I'm thinking now out loud and correct me if I'm wrong because uh, I mean, Google is one of the uh, of the main. Google runs the world. It's Google and, and Mark Zuckerberg. Um, basically, right? In, in many ways. Not you know, basically. Not basically. They literally. Run, they, literally, they run the world. So the something web. like Curio actually is designed to give Google a run for its money. For its money, in many ways. Well, it, 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 I wouldn't say it's not, it's not a Google competitor because it does use a Google search. You know, it, just, right. it really okay, is definitely. there to serve the the user kind of in the short term and the long term the publisher because it's, the publisher can keep the user on on page, the reader, the page. without him leaving the page. And that means more time on page, more monetization, and just more attention. And for us, the users, you know, the lame ducks, the mere, the small people, um, for us, the small people, it's, it's not opening an extra tab, Correct. essentially. It's very convenient and easy to use, and it's just there. It works. And it, and it works. My God, yeah. Um, and one more, one more success this week. Give me a specific. Sure. So just, uh, just curio in terms of what they did. They raised, they announced their... Uh, additional uh, round of funding of uh, close to a million dollars from uh, some previous investors and other other companies that were you know truly incredibly successful this week uh, apps flyer a company that I feel like just yesterday they were in the Microsoft accelerator just starting their company and so do I <laughs> and um, no I mean I've been following this company nod, from day Michael, one nod. yes it's an amazing company and they raised you know in the last year basically 28 million, 27 million dollars I apologize they just announced another 20 million dollar round uh, what they're doing is, is really very, very important for the ecosystem because, you know, everyone has apps, right? Everyone's right. developing their apps, and it's a very big challenge when there are so many apps to get your apps noticed, to get your app noticed or discovered on the App Store, right? So the way you do that today is you uh, run ads, whether it's on Facebook or other ad networks, but then it becomes a mess. How do I monitor how well those ads are doing? Right. And, you know, app tracking, it's called. And so they have one of the most advanced app tracking platforms out there and enables, uh, you know, developers, which is not, no longer businesses, anyone, anyone who has an app. 
to uh, track how their how their performance is doing on the advertising side. Yeah, this is this is it's exciting, amazing stuff. And you know, my most important question to you is: Look at these amazing things being developed technologically. I mean, it is a cutting edge country when it comes to high tech, is it? Completely. Right? Yeah. It? It's yeah. unbelievable. I mean, another company again. The amazing thing is that these companies, you know, they're sm this is Israel, and yet all the biggest companies out there are, are tapping into this this well of of, uh, of technology. Dropbox, right? You use Dropbox, you know Dropbox. Yeah. So they acquired a company called Cloudon this week. What does Cloudon do? They have a, they have a, a solution to uh, collaborate on the cloud. So if I you know I want to I want to edit a Word document, okay. I don't even have to have it install you know on my uh, stored on my phone. I can actually edit the Word document in the cloud. And uh, for for Dropbox, it's a you know it's an obvious acquisition because right. they have they are a cloud provider, a cloud storage provider, and so now they have something that will enable their users to collaborate. Within Wait. their platform. Uh, okay, and when is the app that is going to solve the Middle Eastern mess be invented? Right? That's I mean, I look, I'm sitting here thinking it's a, it's you know it's cutting edge, amazing stuff. Um, and people, as you said, I mean, some of the world's biggest investors are actually putting money in Israel when it comes to startups. Not right? some, almost all. all I mean, them. really, really, almost all the biggest investors out there, from Sequoia to you know. Benchmark capital, you know, and in, in, in Israel itself, there's so many VCs, venture capitalists, and angel investors. It's it's really uh, rare to find an investor that hasn't invested in Israel in one way or another. Another company this week um, that really made headlines was um, a company that does QR code technology. I'm sure you've seen those ugly QR codes. The QR, codes. QR yes. The Q, is that the thing that the, the that you scan with your phone? That you scan with your phone. And, yeah. I never really. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. So they nailed that. Why they nailed it? Because they said it's an ugly thing, and if I'm Coca-Cola, I don't want to ruin my brand with some ugly codes. They said we'll make it beautiful. And what they did was they said. We can now make a QR code on any visual. The name of the company is Visual Lead, and they got a $5 million investment from Alibaba, which is obviously a tremendous, tremendous company. Yeah. Um, you know, the Asian eBay or... So Alibaba, Amazon, which, you know, by the way, the only thing I know about Alibaba is that I love saying it. Yeah. Um, great anyway. word, great word. <laughs> I'm oozing intelligence here this morning. So they invested in Israeli Bob. That's amazing. And yeah. you know, every big company, really. I mean, Google's obviously here, Microsoft's here, and Yahoo has, has R and D centers yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, here. They, they, that's like the happy bit of this morning. And I want to tell you, first of all, thank you for joining us this morning. You will be back because you actually give us the news that that can make people smile out of this region um, on occasion. That happens ever so often. So thank you for being with us this morning. We will release you shortly. Right now, you're locked to the um, uh, to your seat because thank you it's the me. time to move to um, uh, chief political investigator. Just kidding. Um, we, <laughs> we 